Hi guys, it's Michael here. I'm going to show you some change we have done to the NAMI speeder in terms of electric systems. And this one I've used the Klima as example, but they are basically same for models. And we have this new dashboard which is covered by glass and it's more bright under the sun. The default setting is uh, it's uh, 4 for the brightness. You can adjust to 5, which means it's more brighter. And uh, there's NFC added and the switch now comes with little light shows you the light was on the scooter only turns on by the NFC and the power button and M button have different way, different use and I will show you in the video the cable is also changed to be able to connect it to the NFC and the switch here and the tail light have changed as well and the light and And this is basically how the light works and uh, it's more yellow and more red when you're looking at the, in your eye instead of the camera in the phone. And uh, it's more obvious uh, to show people if you're trying to turn left and turn right compared with before. And they saw a few other issues of the unstableness of the original LED straight. And to show you the dashboard, and uh, we have the USB charger here. Originally, we need to press M button to active the USB and also lock the mode. Right now, you press M button for a few seconds. It still shows up a mark here, but it no longer locks the mode. But when it is on, it means the speed limit is on onto the scooter. And it does three things. One is a limited speed, and second, it's uh, active the PAS, which means uh, it needs speed to active throttle. And also cruise control is off, regardless of the setting. It's for the regulation. And uh, like I show you, if I press throttle, it doesn't work. And require a kick to work. And maximum speed is like uh, 24, like 25. And uh, also cruise control is off. And uh, it's basically like these two cables connected. And uh, we will ship the scooter when the cable connected. It's same as M button, press five seconds. And the little change here is about whole cable. You have a little bit nicer nicer cable which feed the capacitor inside and uh, this is also a little train to charging port from original and uh, now I'm going to show you the, the power button let me exist the uh, speed limit mode and if I press power button for a few seconds there is a P flashing here which means working mode and at this stage when you press the throttle the scooter will move but the maximum speed is only like 5 or 6 kilo per hour is using for walking into a area where there's a lot of people and you can use it as walking mode and you press M button to exist the walking mode and still it goes to full powers and uh, these two things change for the M button and power button require a transfer of both dashboard and controller to work together and now I'm going to show you how to make the NFC works. So this is a car, these two cars come with a scooter. You use car to turn on and turn off it. And if you want to add more cars, uh, what you need to do is put the car here. and car start to flashing, check it out. And then you use a new car. Now at this time, the reader was trying to read the car's information into the reader. And while the light stopped flashing, and you can use this car to turn on and turn off the scooters. And you could get this car from your distributor just in case you want to have five person to be able to use your car and there will be a video that shows you how to connect the car into the Android phone and the iPhone 
and uh, our link I will make a link in the description and uh, in the future there may be few more changes but I will keep you updated have a good day